greet your neighbor, say happy Easter. Easter. Say it again. With joy in your heart. Mm -hmm. Let me say, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. You are welcome once again. And I greet you happy Easter. Yes, I shared with you this message from Friday, yesterday, and today. And I know that we are here now to, to get the full package. Mm. Everything started on Friday. Jesus started his journey on Friday to end the power of sin in this world. I told you that the way we celebrate Easter is not the way Jesus celebrated his father's presence. You get the point? The way we are celebrating Easter is not the way Jesus celebrated his father's presence. He came to show or to lay a foundation that this is the way you need to appreciate the love of God. The way you are living here on earth, anything can bring you down. I have come. My father sent me to you. Watch me. Learn from me. Whatever you see me doing here on earth, that is the foundation I want to leave for you. But remember, he did not depend on human strength or support. He had 12 disciples. He depends totally. Why are we, you know, worshiping God without his power? And the enemy of God is in power. I mean evil power is what is opposing the will of God in our life. And we want to worship Jesus in the flesh, not in the spirit. The Jesus that I know, the one who came for you, is Jesus in the spirit, not in the flesh. I'm sure you, you agree with me. From Friday and yesterday, I said we don't know how to call the name Jesus or to use the name Jesus. You saw what happened. Anything from the spirit comes with solution. Spiritual prayer always brings solution to what you are going through. He came to introduce that life. To say, yes, you are in the flesh. But I've brought the spiritual life now to you. So that you live by the spirit, not by the flesh. It is the spirit that will be sustaining you physically. No one is ready to follow that foundation. All what we know is that Ibamu Ikata... You are forgetting that the same way they behaved, that is the same way you are behaving. As long as you are not, you know, following him spiritually, whatever you are saying, you can say, Jesus, like this scripture, if you read Mark 16 verse 1, that is the story of Jesus. It's not there. I didn't put it there. If you lead it, you can lead it by yourself. You hear this, the ladies who went to the tomb in the morning, they prepared the spies, what and what. They did their part. What is your law now in your generation? These women who followed Jesus even in his death, after the Sabbath, you know, the Sabbath is over, they gather, they say, what are we going to do? Let's go to the tomb. Prepare some, you know, something which you, we can go there and anoint the place. They did their part. What are you doing? You who are here on earth. These are women that you learn. 
They went to the tomb in the morning and they discovered that Jesus is not there. And he spoke to them before he said, I'll be there. On the third day, I'm going to rise. No one believed in him. The angel told the women to say, go and tell Peter and his brothers that Jesus is on the way to Galilee. Go and meet him there. They did their part. What are you doing as a child of God? We are making Jesus to be unpopular. Because we are not preaching Jesus in the spirit. We are preaching Jesus in the history. History cannot solve your problem. Five years back. Five years back. Tamari up for two days. Hello, I'm Bokevo Munovevati. Apa, you remember Ida Frigi at Yapa, Ale Sulenshi, Ida Frigi at Yapa Maleka and Shira Frigi. That is history. We want to eat now. We need the healing now. We need deliverance now. We need protection now for the salvation of our soul. Stop talking about history. Satan is busy killing people who are here on earth. And you are talking about history. He entered Jerusalem. There is nothing wrong. Pray your law so that people, you know, could see that yes, Jesus came because of me. Oh. <laughs> so please, this is my, 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 my main concern. Because Tomorrow I may not be there. I have to do. I mean, I have to make sure that I pray my law. So that when I go there, Jesus will not ask me. I left this. I can't see you anywhere. But in Ghana, you are welcome, my son. Don't forget that life is a journey. Whether you are marrying today or next week or next month, or maybe your business is booming. Life is a journey. One day, we will not be able to do it. You may be seated. Today is today. Today is what? According to our... He has what? He has what? <laughs> Where can you find him now? Eh? He's in your heart. <laughs> he has risen. He's where? He directs me. Where. Me, I want to see him. Stop singing this song. He has risen. He has risen. Where? You need to see his power in your life. That is the resurrection now we need to talk about. History is there. Yes. But we need to bring Jesus to the situation on the ground. To say, Father, here we are. We need you now. Take us to that level. You say it's in your heart. So at the back, they will, they will bring the paper. Uh, you, you, you have uh, the paper there so that uh, when you go home, I know that uh, this one will be very easy. Some of you, immediately you leave this place, you pack your Bible. But this paper, you cannot close the paper. The paper will be looking at you. You see the paper? You can't close this one. You'll be looking at you. Whether you, you like it or not, you set your eyes, oh, this is Easter Sunday. Hmm? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wow. Jesus opened their minds so they could understand the scripture. He told them this. He opened what? Who opened the minds of the disciples? To understand what language or scripture? Ngatule land the scripture, tule land the chali, ngata tule land olurimi. If you read the free chinga, we are not talking about the language. We are talking about the written word or the spoken words. You can interpret English or understand English. 
but you cannot understand the language of the spirit or the word from the spirit. He opened their minds for them to understand the scripture. It's very difficult for someone to trust God when you are in problem. It's very difficult for anyone to believe in Jesus. You have been fasting, praying, a lot of men of God have laid their hands on you, prophesying on you, and nothing is changing or moving forward. Unless God Almighty opens your mind to understand his purpose in your life. Or else you miss salvation. These are the people who were with Jesus. From the one he started his ministry, Peter, James, Andrew, they were there with him. But understanding was not there. They can read or they could read the, the word, but when it comes to understanding, it was zero percent. Before he left, he opened their minds so that they can understand the words or the scripture. The meaning, not the interpretation of English or Bemba, Kaonde, Lunda, or Tonga. No. The purpose of the word is to save human beings. So he opened their minds so that the disciples, Tabashale, because in the time Master, where are you going? Oh, woman, what have you done now? He opened their minds. Please and please. Wait until you receive what? Until you receive what? And when the Spirit of God comes upon you, what will happen? You'll be filled with what? Flesh cannot fight Satan. Flesh cannot fight ancestral. Flesh cannot fight tempt or defeat temptation. Love of money, love of women. No matter how strong you feel you are as a man or a woman, whether you go to gym every day, it doesn't mean that you can fight temptation and defeat them. Jesus prepared the disciples adequately. Don't go there and start doing what you see me doing. Wait until you receive what? The Holy Spirit. And when the Spirit of God comes upon your life, you'll be filled with power. Let me call you. so that I'm talking about, listen to this, let me finish this one. He told them this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance and forgiveness of sin be preached in his name to all what? Nations. He didn't say within Chingola. He said to all what? Nations. That is the language from your father in heaven. He said, the message of repentance will be preached in his name to all nations. But we are limiting God because we preach the word in the flesh, not in the spirit. Where the spirit of God is in action, the spirit of God always attracts the world. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I want to read all the scriptures here so that by the time I'll be, you know, shedding more light, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go to John 14, verse 23. Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teachings. My father will love them and will come to them and make our home with them. Make what? Our home with them. Take note of this. He opened their minds to understand the scripture. And he said the message of repentance will be preached in his name to all nations. Then here the Bible says that he replied, 
Anyone who loves me will obey my word, my teachings. Do you love him? Hmm? And we will come to them and make our home with them. If you love God, love is not a theory. It is a placatical. Love is action. When God says, do this, you obey. Kneel down, you go on your knees. Stand up, you do like this. Walk, you start. Anything that you hear from him, because you love him, you obey him. This is what, you know, makes Jesus to be the son of God. It's because of obedience to the word from his father. Are we obedient? Hmm? Are we obedient? Huh. I'm alone. Am I obedient? I'm asking myself. You are not answering me. Are we obedient? Huh. You have come now. Are we obedient? Listen to this now. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teachings. These words you hear are not my own. As I am standing here, the word that you are hearing from me is not my own. It is the word of your Father in heaven. Two things. He opened their minds. He said, we'll make a home within them. Immediately you believe in his suffering on the cross of Calvary. The Spirit of God will enter you. Settled inside you. The understanding of your life will not be like any other person. Even the professor of this world cannot understand the mind of the Holy Spirit. Except those who are carrying the Spirit of God inside their heart. Even the most richest person in this world cannot understand the mind of the Spirit of God. Except those who are carrying the Spirit of God inside them. Praise the Lord. Listen now to this one. Acts chapter 4 verse 5. On occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. This is where the problem is in our life. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised. God cannot leave you without a promise. No matter how bad you are, he will leave you with a promise. To say, when you see that the life you are living is bad, believe in me, I will answer you. Or call on me, I will answer you. Don't leave Jerusalem until you receive what? The gift my father promised. And what is that gift? Let's continue. Which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water. But in few days, you will be baptized. With what? A Christian without Holy Spirit is a human being without legs and hands. If you are a man of God, a woman of God, a child of God, by confession, without the Holy Spirit in you, you are a human being without what? Legs. You can't move. You cannot defend yourself. Anything can destroy you. Anything can destroy you. Now, the same uh, acts. No, 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 no. I think uh, there's a mistake. If you are not a Christian, you are not a Christian. Okay. Let's continue now. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. There's a mistake. It's 1 not 4. Verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my what? My witness. But when you receive, I mean, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And will be my witnesses. Jesus said, this sign will accompany those who believe in my name. They will drive out demons. That is now in Luke 10, verse 19. It's not there. I just put there. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the reality 
of the true gospel comes with the power of God. There is no way you can say Jesus is here without the power of God. Hallelujah. I have read all the scriptures. Now let me call you. Jesus came through a human here on earth. We all know that. When going back to heaven, he goes by what? He went by what? I want to hear from you. He came through a, a human to this life. But when going back to his father, he did not ask anyone again to say, I want you to be my channel. No. He just took his disciples, shared his message, encouraged them. The Spirit of God took him. Have you seen? Jesus died like Mulu again in a Makaya Muntu, Nangulo, a fish of Wamuntu, Gafia Ishle Pachalo, no more fish of Wanshi, Wamuntu. The time he was living this world. He did not use any human form. The power of God took him and he disappeared. The Bible says that he, while his disciples were watching him going up, the crowd covered him. What are you learning out of that? Hmm? Point number one, he opened their minds to understand the scripture. Number two, I want to carry only now two things before I bring, we make a home within them. He said, stay there. Don't leave Jerusalem until you receive the Holy Spirit. And when the Spirit of God comes upon you, you'll be filled with power. There you'll be my what? There is no way you can go and preach the word of God without his power in you. You don't know what you are talking about. You don't know who you are preaching. If Satan is there to ask you one question, you'll be blind. And the question Satan will ask you is to afflict you with problem. You are calling the Bible. Satan will put his BP in you. Anything that you want, he can cite to your body. You cannot answer him because you are calling a dangerous mission without his assignment. The assignment must be given to you. Are you a child of God because your father was a Christian or your mom was a Christian? Are you a child of God because we are brought up you know, in a Christian house. Are you a pastor because you went to Bible college? There's nothing wrong to go to Bible college. But when you finish, remember that you are not going to fight your fellow human being. But you wrestle with Satan and his demons. This is why Jesus prepared the disciple to say, before you start doing anything, wait for that gift. If the church is empowered the way Jesus empowered his disciples, I don't think so. We can talk about, you know, witches and wizards. The Spirit of God will be there to tell you that, look, this is what is happening. Even if you want to start this business, the evil spirit is there or Satan is there or what is there to destroy you. So before you start, do this. Jesus nangubale amku muikata le ishiba. Ife tu isamku ishiba ngaba iba tiba chita shani. Le sadi ndanga. Na di muene. Elo nisha sunkane. Na musunkana. Na mu chita shani. Umupashu wa kwa lesa. Emenso ya kwa lesa. Ema tu ya kwa nani. Uli onso ule shimikile chevo, afula shimikile chevo maka ya kwa lesa. 
Ngatapalia maka ya kwa lesa you are preaching history. The way we are celebrating Easter, we are celebrating history. The reality is not there. The reality is not there. Muke kale muka lolele amaka nga waisushwa na maka ya kwa lesa nendo shilambo kutina. Can you imagine in endo shire celebrate Easter? Eh? Are you there? Nendo shire celebrate enshi. Bambi vale chitobu ule muri Easter. Is that Easter? Abantu wa file bambo kutinangalu mbura Easter maka ya kwa lesa ya mkari pilofu makuli imwe. Kwa wati fiule chitatefi ya bambi Easter. Easter kula pila. Yes, walanda ati chewa cha kula pila chino kushimikiru wa mwishi na diyako. Kufialo. Mula njwa ati fwewa ni muka ati bonse muna tu wadila pila. Tamuri huku ete boyfriend muna na girlfriend. Tamuri huku mule mbeshe ina nkwe message runo luchelo. Baby, you are coming to church. I want to see you after service. Tarimo muna. Emwari. Napari umu, napari fye lesa fye. Satana nga teteati ni apari lesa. What more has ended by what a party lesser? He followed Jesus. Jesus filled with the Holy Spirit. He said, if truly you are the son of God, turn this stone. And this is the man who is filled with the Holy Ghost. Mule nje wadi fila fionse bale mwe wa Jesus ingatapari umupashi. Kutu wakana. Bambia bale pepa sana lelo. Padi lelo tawale pepa no kolwa na wakolwa. So, this message is for you. Go and sit down. Go through the message. Look at your life. Mushe mulenda maka ya kwa lesa na mulenda muli religious type of worship. First of all, who crucified Jesus? Is it not you? The people of the Bible. It's you. Tebacha kula tabadi kono kuba. Ni mwe mwe wa sungire fie wo mumi tuwe. Busy condemning a spiritual man. He came to introduce you to the spiritual life so that you can defeat Satan and his tactics. You rejected him. Anything spiritual is not welcomed here on earth. I, I feel bad sometimes you, you hear these uh, people are, you know, commenting on uh, things of God uh, uh, self-proclaimed. Self what? No one here on earth can, you know, recognize you that you are called. Even if, you know, they are seen signs and wonders, they will not bring their camera, their own camera. They will not bring them to cover what you are doing. But if something bad happens, you will see them with the camera. Are you there? You will not invite them. You will see them with the camera. Oh, no, we are coming from uh, in some, some, some media house. We are coming from to cover what? I have never seen you coming here to cover the Sunday service. Why do you want to cover the bad things? Meaning the world enjoy bad things. This is why a spiritual life will never be welcomed. Even within the church. If you hear one bad things about the pastor, everyone will be busy. Na mufuako. Na mufuako. Na mufuako. If you see a pastor praying for someone and he's ill, he say, ah, ah. He came to introduce you to this life. Unstoppable life. Unquestionable life. You will know if your husband is teaching you. The Spirit of God will tell that your husband is teaching you. You don't know that this man is cheating on you. Not until you see the results. I went to Balanda to remember his answer. Before that, I was in the Mishila. 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 The truth will never be welcomed. Even people are celebrating Easter. They are celebrating Easter. Religiously. Not in the spirit. 
They have never experienced the Holy Spirit. They confess that the Spirit of God came upon his life in form of a dove. But they have never experienced the Holy Spirit. And Satan is afflicting them with a lot of problems. Where Jesus is settled, people should not settle in that body where the Spirit of God is in control. Python is sleeping in your stomach. Jesus is in your heart. Python in your stomach. Cockroach is here in the name of uh, arthritis. And Jesus will be watching them, sharing the same body. Come on, people of God. It cannot happen. I'm talking to you now. Jesus cannot sit inside your heart watching Python in your stomach, giving you problems or stealing your money. Another snake is moving here. Don't fetch much in Dangachashi Muluka. Chadra Mui, Patin Machini. And Jesus is here. Not Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Not Jesus of Nazareth. In Romans 10, verse 11, he said, Anyone that believes in him shall never be put to shame. He cannot share your body with Satan. He cannot. This is why he told them to wait. So that immediately the Spirit of God entered them, they are covered. Takuri umu anakashina ngumau ingesa pita ale dancer ale 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 shumbenshi intungu Can you attract the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit will say hey, I love you. No, no. The more you are doing that, the more you are provoking the power of God. Because what is you are showing here, you are carrying demons 1,000 years, 1,000 years. But today, how many believers who have gone down through that process? Or you see money, immediately you discover that this man is rich. <laughs> There you know that there's a problem. Does it mean the Holy Spirit is sleeping now? Anything that you are doing as a child of God represents the will of God in your life. There's no way the Holy Spirit can allow you to start pursuing money and you leave the mission of God. No. Even if you are rich, that is your money. If you want to bless the work of God, bless it with your heart, not with my tactic. I started now quoting scripture to remember the widow in Zerifat. That's because now we to allow man The Spirit of God cannot allow you to do that. In all areas of your life, He is your helper, He is your counselor, your advocate. He will continue speaking on your behalf because you don't know how to talk, you don't know how to handle everything. Church, wake up. You are not under this world. You are under the supervision of the Holy Spirit. Wake up. People of God, children of God, stop misbehaving in the name of Christianity. Satan is real. Hell is real. They are working 24-7 to destroy you. I remember this morning when I was praying around here. It should be 0304. Someone came to squeeze my mind. He said, why did you touch me? I said, I touched you where? No, you touched me. I said, no, I didn't touch you. He said, no, you touched me. I will squeeze your brain. I said, which blend? He said, this is your blend. I said, you cannot squeeze this blend. And this person is very powerful. Taller than me. I managed to knock him. Why? I touched some power yesterday there. It was not a demon. It was Satan himself. There's a difference between a demon and power. 
Demons get strength from what? Power. I touched a, a, someone there with that power. He came to squeeze my, my head. If it is not the Holy Spirit today, <laughs> Then you will not You see? He was asking me, why did you touch me? Why did you destroy this? I was just, you know, I didn't, you know, attack you, but why did you attack me? I said, where? If it is not the Holy Spirit, you wake up laughing. Ndeke, shai sashtatu, so, imbi ala pona. Nishite ndeke, 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 ndeke. Na vanjita ndea kwa Amerika. Ndea mkwe mnina u president. Trump ya lesa. And Satan is a foolish man. You bring his foolishness in your mind. This is why it's very dangerous to say you are a child of God. He will let you confess it physically. He will wait for you in the spirit. Why are you depending so much in this flesh? Why are you trusting your voice and your mind? It looks so simple, like what I'm saying, you may see it as a joke. It was a serious battle. Most of the problems that are killing us, they are always coming to our body in the dream, in the night. Because no one is praying in the night. Everyone will be snoring. Some of you, the way you snore. Ha. Ah. Hmm. Ah. But you can snore. I'm not saying snoring is a problem. <laughs> but some of this snoring is a problem. It's like you are already dead. Most of the problems, that even the fibroids you are talking about, ceased, broke the tube. You hear the confession. I thought this confession is an eye opener to you and me. Jesus came to introduce this life. Spiritual what? Life. Stop depending on this flesh. It's nothing. I've brought this for you. The same way you see these people treating me. That is the same way you'll be treated here on earth. But I have overcome the world. He came to bring the spirit. No one is led to accept this spiritual life. The Spirit of God is available for everyone. You, you, when you are listening, you no, know, uh, there is this uh, televangelist, a uh, self-proclaimed. But if a professor or anyone, you know that you hear that a professor and so and so and so died, he, he did this, he did this, he did this. You are, you are, you are, you are too much of yourself. You are too much of yourself. The economy of this world is going down. Not even one leader you hear to say, we need to bring all the men of God, whom you know that this one is God by God Almighty. No one. All what we know, I belong to this church. I belong to this church. In heaven, you will not find the name of your church, except your heart. You will not find what? The name of your church. Make no mistake. Don't you know, deceive yourself. He came to introduce himself to you as a channel. But you are still rejecting him. You enjoy, you know, to mention his name in the flesh. But you deny his power. This is Holy Week. So after Monday, you go back to that life again. Holy Week has gone. Until next year, April. You hear, you know, those languages where people say, no, this one is a old week. She the folk chita chita. Uno mulungu and she for no aqua and galaco. Nganga wapa uno. Ngawapa uno kutuabo aqua and galaco. Could you roll People of God, go and read this scripture. Sit down. 
and reflect on this scripture. Or if you like, you combine Mark 16. You read it. You learn from the women. They went to check the tomb of Jesus. They prayed their law by making sure that they followed him totally. Even in his death, they followed him. You need to place on Jesus. Place on him. Connect yourself to him so that he can open your mind to understand the scripture. You are not a believer. You are a religious person. If the power of God is not in you, you are a religious person. When you believe the power of God comes upon your life, there you'll be like Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. You will receive power when the Spirit comes on you. And you'll be my witnesses. Nishibadi abantu bai kadire kwa buloku ya mkubomba bambo kulolela makaparire lo tamufu okulolela mwase ndako fiolu nimi. Luambaibu. Pantuwari ya nko kulanda nendo shikuti ya alanda. Mwalasa ngendo shinga nai minina kunta nshi nga mwaika nyafila mwachilanda tefyo ya kulole shaferi nsolimo. So, tia nachilanda tamuli ya manu. Ulifiebu inu. Lesa la kulole kishapo. Te lesa. Umupashu wa kuwale sanga kutu waba muli wa ifwe. Umukulu wa kuwale sabulino kusokoloka. Muli no generation. Ama problems mune pitamu munga nda. Mupashu kala mieba. Ifiwale kwe babufi. Ifiwale la ndatevyo. Nomba mwacheteke la. Eh, sometimes you hear someone. Papasta. Eh, Fishle salela nda kupadine. Niku bepe. If you listen to Angel and Tampio Kulanda, and Mumanja, that Mulefokulanda, I never had a party from Quetta. But in Gandia for Huepa, Kainin Quatako is Tripadim. We know, we know. Who was Mina Murile so to one of Mupashi? Tafua Okula and Detroit Satamwebe. Easter came to introduce spiritual life to you in full so that you live by the spirit, not by this flesh. They waited until the Holy Spirit came. In Acts chapter 2 verse 1, the Bible says that when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were one accord at one place. And suddenly, there comes a mighty wind that filled the whole entire place. And to each and every one appeared something in form of a tongue. They started to speak in tongues. Not the Shindi Mimulande Chakwati, Demon, immediately to that, don't touch me. Ah, but you speak in tongue. Yes, it's my tongue. <laughs> yes, it's me who is speaking. So you are challenging me. Make no mistake. Easter is not one of the holidays. Even those who are using Easter to go and enjoy whatever they are enjoying, you are making a very big mistake. You regret. God cannot sacrifice his own son in vain for you to go and misbehave him. There are so many holidays that you can use to go and do whatever you want to do with your friend, your family. But Easter is a reminder to every believer that this is the day that God Almighty remembered you and accepted you as a sinner. To say you are a sinner, I hate sin, but you, I accept you. Come back to me through the blood of Jesus. But we are using Easter or treating Easter like you save your pangwena, like any other holiday. No. Treasure it. For me, when I look back, I see where I am coming from. I look at the life of my mother, my father. I say, Jesus, thank you. It wasn't easy that I can carry his word. And what I am waiting for now is to see him. Simple. So, imi akamkwete ema Easter match to celebrate. Can I see your hand? You say he has risen. Hmm? He is where? In your heart. Okay. If truly is there in your heart, 
touch your heart and say, Jesus, thank you, you are in my heart. Say it with all your heart. Are you sure he's listening to his inside? Eh? I can't hear you at the back. It's inside. Eh? It's inside your heart. Say, Jesus, thank you. Say, thank you that you are in my heart. I welcome you. Mm -hmm. Say, I welcome you. For giving me a second chance. Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. That me, a sinner, today I can stand and confess your name. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name. Emwadi. Hmm? Emwadi. Emwadi mumi to my yesu. And therefore, mumu anengo mwadi nomba. Kai na mula and that thank you. Emwadi. Is there in your heart? Your problem must be solved. If there is someone opposing your confession, that nature must leave your body. That nature must surrender to the authority and power of Jesus. Some of you, you are calling BP from the ancestral. You inherit this from your mom or your daddy. Some of you, you are going through a lot of problems. Things are not moving according to your plan. Why? A stranger is inside your body. If you call Jesus, the Jesus in the spirit, you receive answers. But because of, you know, this religious type of worship, evil spirits are always sleeping inside our body. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. I call your name, Jesus. I hear your name, Jesus. Say, I call your name, Jesus. I hear your name, Jesus. Say, I call your name, Jesus. I hear your name, Jesus. I'm still trying to connect your heart. Abantunga ba ku ku join if you join abala ba shua atina kula aluba atina kula itashani. Ndai finish to tini na indoshi. Fwebe shiba tina tukwa atalesa. Nishi lenga. Mwenso te. Muntu nga kwa to mwenso ni shitakwe to mpashu wako alesa. Ni shitakwe te nji. May the spirit of God settled in your heart. The name of Jesus. May the spirit of the living God settled in your heart. Today and forevermore. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Jesus name. Say I replace my problem with the name Jesus. I replace my problem with the name Jesus. I replace my problem with the name Jesus. In Jesus name. Rise up. There are sins that we know and there are sins that we don't know. There are some that you can remember and there are some that you cannot remember. With all your heart, stop deceiving yourself by saying he's in me. You need to experience his presence as the assurance that truly Jesus is in me. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus for your mercy and your favor. For your mercy and your favor. Oh, 
through my brother's blood or my father's blood let me repeat this one even the sin that I inherit through my father or my mother's blood I confess them all I confess them all I confess them all I forgive everyone those who offended me I forgive them and I'm asking God to forgive me to all that have offended you in Jesus name say I confess them all all my sins knowingly or unknowingly I confess them spirit of unforgiveness I reject you I believe in Christ the hope of life I believe in Christ the hope of life. I believe in Christ and his love and forgiveness. I denounce you. I flash you out of my heart. I flash out of my heart. In Jesus' name. We are all victims. Forgive and forget. Jesus came to show you that love. That love everyone. Forgive everyone. I'm praying to God Almighty that at the end of this service your heart and my heart will be a place of the Holy Spirit. Leave the past behind you. Focus on the future. Remove that unforgiveness. You are keeping things that are bringing you down. Our tabele la tawaya pantaj. Nga muaele la you pave way for your future. You enjoy the love of God. Jesus loves you so much. No wonder why he cannot remind you about your past. Remember what you have done secretly no one knows but you you know what you have done that is the purpose of easter enjoy the love of god and let the spirit of god settle in your heart today and forevermore in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name Amen. This is a warning. What you are planting today, tomorrow you will start reaping. Salvation is personal. Thank you. God bless you.